Hi, I'm Dr. Alyssa Lunder. I've been practicing dermatology at Dermatology Partners in Wellesley, Massachusetts for the past 10 years. I believe that skin care doesn't have to be complicated. With a few simple steps, you can have beautiful skin. You can visit Dermatology Partners at dermatologypartnersinc.com. So today we're going to talk about skin care. Some acne is unavoidable. Acne lots of times is caused by hormones and everybody knows that hormones can go up and down depending on your age, the time of the month, and for a variety of other factors. So at times acne is just a part of life. But there are some things that you can do to minimize the amount of acne you get. The first thing is to choose the right cleanser. I recommend using either a salicylic acid cleanser, Neutrogena Acne Wash being one of my favorites, or using a benzoyl peroxide wash. I prefer to use a salicylic acid cleanser on the face, but if you have acne that's on your chest or your back, I would go for the strongest benzoyl peroxide wash that you can. I would find a 10% benzoyl peroxide wash. And the key is to leave it on your skin for about five minutes before you wash it off. One thing to note about benzoyl peroxide is that it can bleach your clothes and bleach your washcloths. So just be careful of that. Another way to prevent acne is to choose your hair products carefully. Lots of times different hairsprays, mousses, and gels, when they get onto the skin, clog your pores. You wanna make sure that all products you use on your skin, makeup, foundations, anything you're using on your skin says non-comedogenic on it. Non-comedogenic means that it won't clog your pores. If using salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxides aren't enough to get rid of your acne, um, you may want to see a dermatologist. Dermatologists have plenty of both topical and oral medications that can help your acne. Uh, we use lots of topical antibiotics. We use retinoids such as uh, Differin and Retin-A that help improve your acne. And for some patients, they'll need to go on oral antibiotics. In extreme cases, we'll use a medication called Accutane. 